They're right to go. Ready and racing. Away quickly. Ebony drive out in the middle. Good pace from Rococo now bursting across with Ronsard Bay going forward with Dashing Jacko. Then Circuit Breaker behind them. Golden Car from Ash Lynn and Tanjo Zeko. Down the side. Rococo broke out by two on Ebony Drive. Three links to Ronsard Bay. Dashing Jacko. And then came Circuit Breaker for home. Rococo. Ebony Drive's coming back. Ebony Drive going home the better and the Kapabianka bitch is going to win. It's Ebony Drive winning by a length over Rococo. Behind them Ronsard Bay and Dashing Jacko close up then came Circuit Breaker from Ashland Golden Calf and Tanjo's Echo running back in uh, last all ready to go race number 10 Away and racing now and jumping fast was Juanita's Pride, the favourite only fairly away and first out now, Creepy Girl crossing over the lead by two lengths, going into all oh, flash, Frankie went down on his nose he's back to last, the favourite's out of business Creepy Girl by three lengths to Celtic Alarm, four lengths away, Bacardi Dan, then came Juanita's Pride, well back was Inverness Lady, Flash Frankie and then came Tickety Low and Bookshop coming off the side, oh, something's gonna miss there, uh, Celtic Alarm uh, seemed to stop with Bacardi Dan and now hit the front, but getting through Flash Frankie with a miracle run and flash Frankie has got up to score here by four lengths Bacardi Dan Inverness Lady and Juanita's Pride Again, fairly, but Welsh fell, and then also exit meaning burn across from out wide. Going forward, Swift Yarn, although very wide. Zephyr's running behind them from Bex Warrior, Arinka Buller, and well back is Bella Pardee. Down the side is Welsh fell, and clear by three lengths. Exit meaning back to the inside. Then Zephyr's run Swift Yarn and Bex Warrior. Far home, Welsh fell, and well clear over exit meaning down the outside. Zephyr's run, but Welsh fell, and all the way. Welsh fell, and wins it by four lengths. Second in Zephyr's run. Third across the line, exit meaning then Bex Warrior and Swift Yarn. Arinka Bula Balapardi. National Arrow must have struck early trouble. It was never spotted and come in along last. Here's the Lewis set into motion. Except for the first. Racing now, getting out quickly, exit Manning, Shield Sale is uh, going fairly quickly, across comes Wade and Lass in the early part, railing Welsh fell and Oztaz Rocket just off them, followed by I'm a pal, splendid Ostia Norfolk Sale, down the side and Welsh fell and went through on the inside to join Wade and Lass, exit Manning checked out of it slightly, Shield Sale begins to run on stoutly over on the fence and I'm a pal's working into it, Wade and Lass and Welsh fell and Wade and Lass doing the better over Welsh fell and drawing clear and wins nicely, I'm a pal will get third and fourth as a dead set raffle, a splendid Osti's got home well. It's in a photo with Exit Manning and also a Norfolk Sale. A shill Sale there and Oztaz Rocket. All set to go. Racing away quickly is Happy Street out in the middle. Good pace now from Quick Penny and driving up Geologists and Frogmore Style came across. A lot of bumping there. Happy Street, Galway Lad Olympic bound, virtually put out of play. Off the back they come and railing up very strongly. Welsh Fallon goes to the front over Geologist and Frogmore Style. Beginning to run on is Quick Penny. Circuit breaker just off them. For home they come. Geologist hits the front over Welsh Fallon. Storming home is Frogmore Style and also Quick Penny, but uh, Welsh Fallon might have just got it over Geologist. It is pretty tight. They were followed up. Frogmore style wide and quick penny back near the inside. Then Olympic bound and Galway lad. Knocked out a play early from Circuit Breaker and Happy Street. To Wayne, they're all set. Ready to go. Race seven. 
Off and chasing away quickly. Exit Manning in the middle. Good pace. El Kaley coming across with it. Railing up shooters. Gem and also Welsh Felon. A little wider is Flying Opal. Then came I'm a Pell Phenomena. And drifting well out of play next of all as they come down the side. Flying Opal. The front runner is Exit Manning. Welsh Felon begins to run on hard. Then El Kaley and shooters. Gem and behind them railing is Phenomena. For home Exit Manning. Welsh Felon going to it. Welsh Felon Exit Manning. Oh, it's pretty tight. Maybe Exit Manning. Maybe a lip to Welsh Felon. But a close photo. Behind them Phenomena and El Kaley together. Next to cross is I'm a Pal, followed in by Shooters Gem, Flying Opal and Mark Me. Set now, 4.10 the journey. Off and racing, beginning pretty well out in the middle is Oregon Ladders trying to push across. It bumped with Texan and Lightning Blitz now comes across with Blazenka Simon to lead them. Lightning Blitz over Blazenka Simon. Tex got, Texan got to the outside, followed by Welsh uh, Fallon beginning to run on. Then Oregon Ladder, I'm a pal, a long way back, followed by Frogmore style Mighty Tish for home. Blazenka Simon broke to the front. Welsh Fallon running on from Lightning Blitz. Blazenka Simon just in front and just wins. Blazenka Simon a short neck over Welsh Fallon. Third in probably uh, Texan as they've crossed the line close up with it also is lightning blitz uh, along with oregon lad they were followed in by i'm a power mighty tish and frogmore style first line about to move in here birthday red welsh felon and osti zora second line busy blue alcardi ready for fame and barons bay Second line's gone forward. Free to all over the 297 metres. Thanks, Stu. Just about ready. Birthday red off the inside. Ready for fame in six. Alcali in four. Busy blue in two. They're set. Racing now, jumped in a fairly even line and jumping fast was Osti Zora going to the lead. A ready for fame, showing a little bit of speed. Oh, there's a bit of trouble there. Birthday Red came out, lost his chance. Byron's Bay pushed out wider and Osti Zora has been well clear of Welsh Felon going to set in second. Ready for fame is down the outside, but Osti Zora got the uh, break on them early and won by three lengths. Second, Welsh Felon. Third home, ready for fame. Fourth in was Byron's Bay. But and 60. Five sup sup soy, four twenty at one dollar eighty and five dollars and one sixty six little fatty. All set to go. First to Capes Cruiser. Racing down, jumping very fast was Versatile Mal out wide, but it got slightly hampered by Galway Lad who came out underneath it. And now Welsh Felon race clear, leads by four lengths to Versatile Mal who's out wide, trying to rail through on the inside was hard to shout. Oh, hard to shout, nearly came down. Going to second now was Galway Lad a long way back, little fatty, then Versatile Mal. Well back, Frogmore Coffee, Foxy Jet, Sup Sup Soy. Welsh Felon is clear, Galway Lad can do no more, and Welsh Felon wins by three to Galway Lad. Ten lengths away, third little fatty, then Frogmore Coffee, followed by Versatile. Mel and then came Foxy Jet Hard to Shout and Sup Sup Soy. All set. Set to go. Tough haul off the inside favourite. Racing now, Tough Hall missed it and first out light her up, it's coming across to lead, quickly joined by Brookside Idol, now Tough Hall railing through on the inside to join Brookside Idol, but they get mixed up out of the straight and going to the front, Tough Hall from Brookside Idol, they had a real bumping duel about two lengths away, third Cohen Yana, it's now four lengths off them as the leaders really sprint up, then came Willis followed by light her up, well back Buffoon and then Ben Quick and Karingal Lady, coming around the turn though, Brookside Idol and Tough Hall, they both ran wide and lead, all veering out there was Brookside Idol getting through Willis. Willis hit the front and Willis got home. Willis has won from either Light Her Up or Buffoon who flew and Brookside Idol close up. It was a mad affair. Then Tough Hall followed by Kawanyana, Ben Quick and Karingal Lady. Race number eight. All set. 
are racing now way quickly. Miss Pinbrook out of the middle pace. Also Wealthy Stranger trying to push up and will go to the front now over Welsh Fella. Miss Pinbrook the outside. Couple off to Swinging Ollie and Marinko. It's a fair way off them from Indian Hostess Casual Gift. Down the side and Welsh Fella went to the lead. Checked off its heels. Wealthy Stranger running on wider is uh, Miss Pinbrook. Swinging Ollie and Marinko right on their hammer for home. Welsh Fella got away battling on Wealthy Stranger but Welsh Fella over Wealthy Stranger. Third looks to be Miss Pinbrook just ahead of Swinging Ollie. Close up Indian and hostess, also Marinko and Casual Gift. Might not be good enough to win this, but we'll soon find out. Green light. All set. Racing, the favourite began beautifully high to me. It landed near the inside, but now driving through Bianca Blossom's going to head it off here. Bianca Blossom leading the way. High to me goes to a clear second and swung a very wide there and ducking underneath it was Willis getting home well as they join this leader, Bianca Blossom. About four lengths away was Rare Event and all followed by Jamali Magic, Binjang Mac, and well back in the field was Prince Remo and Fantasy. Willis getting through to hit the front from high to me. Bianca Blossom tried to come back, then went wide. An inside run for Rare Event in front is Willis. Down the outside, Hyatt's me, but Willis hangs on to beat Hyatt's me. And third home, Bianca Blossom, two lengths away. A half away fourth was Rare Event, and a half away fifth was Prince Remo. And then Binjang Mac, followed by Fantasy and Jamali Magic. Stay as we head to Pete O'Neill. They're set to go. 642 metres ahead of them. Race number two. Racing, Zoom Beanie was slow to begin. Pit Stop Star began quickly on the inside. Totally Elusive goes to second and Random Princess up around the outside of third. Betcha's Babe was next as they come into the straight the first time. Then followed by Purdue Park. Zoom Beanie went by the Roses. Lost target back on the inside and uh, last of all as they go to the back was Ginger Road towards the back and Totally Elusive eases up on the outside of Pit Stop Star and goes the leader. Random Princess to third. Four lengths away next was Betcha's Babe. Three away to Purdue Park. Zoom Beanie starting to warm up a long way back. Lost target and Ginger Road off the back and totally elusive goes clear by two lengths here comes random princess up on the inside switches to the outside again totally elusive in front and holds on and wins over random princess three away third was betcha's bay purdue park finished fourth then followed by zoom beanie lost target and ginger road near the rear of the field and pit stop start pulling up quickly yeah. all set now the uh, reconstructed lure in motion they're ready to go Ready and racing, Minnesota Dollar Way quite nicely. Pace wide, Zazago burning up and also Purdue Park in the middle. Minnesota Girl back to third and slightly checked. Awesome Esquire up on the inside. They were followed by Ash Best, Longview Bay, Cyanamite and Lightfoot Girl must have stayed in the boxes or turned in the boxes. It's a mile back. Purdue Park, the front runner off the back. Zazago only a half length away, seven to Minnesota Dollar. They were followed by Awesome Esquire and Ash Best down to the bend they come. Purdue Park, Zazago finishing well. Zazago going up to Purdue. Purdue Park, Purdue Park, Purdue Park ahead on Zaza, go a gap to Minnesota, Dolan Ashbest. They were followed by Cyanamite, then Awesome Esquire, Longview Bay, and Lightfoot Girl wasn't spotted for the first 10 seconds of the race and is coming along last. Just about ready to go for race number 10. Lucky last, racing now, away quickly, Abernathy Red near the inside, has burst up to the front, pace also roll call and driving through Purdue Park, next of all Tomarong Tina, it checked with Marbok Town which has got through on the inside, then uh, next of all as they go to the back section, Jabalani, well out of a Detroit Dodger and love you Buller, front runner off the back is roll call, about to be joined again by Abernathy Red and through on the paint, Purdue Park finishes well, Marbok Town coming into it, followed by Tomarong Tina for home, they come roll call over Purdue Park, but Marbok Town Thunders home, Purdue Park reaches the lead, Purdue Park's got in, Marbok Town got through for second, third maybe roll call but Abernathy Red right with it, followed by Tomarong Tina, then Jabalani, Detroit Dodger and Love Yabola. And you'll get your gun up show next weekend, just about set for race number 10. Purdue Park is the fave. They're ready to go. 
set a racing away fairly quickly as Dalston Echo out wide and driving up with it Tinker Rash Purdue Park getting over towards the inside Julie Manelli going up deeper they were followed by Cyanamite bumping very heavily with back in the pack there Pandy Hill getting forward Bonds Fancy and General Maximus down the back and Purdue Park shows the way it's out by for Dalston Echo Julie Manelli the inside finishing well so too Tinker Rash the rest headed by Cyanamite on the bend Purdue Park Julie Manelli coming at it with Tinker Rash Purdue Park clinging on Julie Manelli lunging but Purdue Park a half on Julie Manelli Tinker Ash third followed in by Cyanamite next across is Dalston Echo Bonds Fancy and a gap to General Maximus with Panda Hill six of the night 530 meters the journey they're almost set Melody Ray into three dollars clear favorite they're off. Melody Ray away well. Lynch Law also shows very good pace. Now Melody Ray's being shuffled back. Mr. Adams drove through and Purdue Park goes with it. Mr. Adams led Purdue Park into the back stretch, but Mr. Adams ran very deep. It's broken down, I'd suggest. Purdue Park got away in the lead over Token Energy and Wee Malawi. Next Royal Onyx, then came Mr. Adams, Lynch Law, Melody Ray. It's a long way back and checked early. Calculator move, but on the bend. Purdue Park is clear out by four. On Token Energy, Royal Onyx. It's Purdue Park to Token Energy coming out of a Purdue Park gets in a half on Token Energy flashing through Lynch Law for third close up Royal Onyx, Wee Malawi and Melody Ray then came Mr Adams while well, it's made it into the pen but it was taking short steps in the middle stages and calculated move was back at the rear Blue flags up, they're all set Set. Racing now, flying out was Carrington Bound, leads by two lengths to Fergie's champ, getting up in the centre of the inside. Ben Rua Boy makes good ground and pushed out wider. Was Jim Boot Johnny on the first turn, two lengths away. Agarn made some good ground, got to fifth, but then got slightly hampered and getting checked. Material lad behind him from night and day and five, Mrs. Crabtree. Carrington Bounds off and gone, leads by four. Ben Rua Boy is closing the margin and two lengths away, Fergie's champ. And the rest are headed by Jim Boot Johnny and Agarn in the straight. The leader, Carrington Bound in front, coming hard, Fergie's champ on the outside, but Carrington bound got in a half length to Fergie's champ and three quarters away third Ben Rua boy two lengths away fourth was Jim Boot Johnny followed in turn by Agar a material lad and then Mrs Cramtree and night and day ran last in box five all set to go green lights about to be produced there it goes over the four ten meter boxes and we're set for the lucky last Ready now, away quickly uh, from the middle is Stanley Oswald, but it bumps with Blue Jazz Man, but Stanley Oswald's going to go to the front, Titan Power quickly across to second, Frio Junction slightly checked around it, Shandy Sparkler, then all ends up, and Hubert well back, followed by next of all Blue Jazz Man, and now Dakota with the tail enders, Stanley Oswald is the leader as they swing, Titan Power running on, Shandy Sparkle behind them, but Stanley Oswald a nice winner, Stanley Oswald gets the money, Titan Power second, close third, Frio Junction or Shandy Sparkle behind them, now Dakota Blue Jazz Man, last pair in St. Hubert and all ends up. First line going forward. And they're just about set for a start. Green light about to be switched on, half a lap at the Cannington Circuit. Just over. All set. Racing now, lady under fast, Stanley Oswald flying over the lead now, going to second was back, going to second now, Whitman's words about five lengths, Graceful Prince and Red Mallard, well back lady under far top teak, Morning Shiraz around the turn, it's all Stanley Oswald, five lengths in front of Whitman's words, running on strongly as Graceful Prince goes to third, but Stanley Oswald wins it well over Whitman's words, a half length away third was Graceful Prince and about eight lengths away fourth lady under fire, followed by top teak Red Mallard and Morning Shiraz. Only Bukamera go in. Stanley Oswald, my old golden boy, outcross and Malawa Ollie. Just about set. Thanks, Wes. And they're all set. The blue flag's up. Terrific little sprint race here. Stanley Oswald, the favourite in two. Set. 
Racing now, Stanley Oswald away fast is driving through inside of Outcross. He goes to the front and wide out was Mullawar Ollie going forward to Wonga the inside. And well back by Golden Boy with Go Kindly and Buca Mary but coming to the turn. And Stanley Oswald said goodbye, raced away from Mullawar Ollie. Going into third place, my Golden Boy, and then came to Ronga. An easy win to Stanley Oswald, he won by four. Mullawar Ollie ran second and five lengths to my Golden Boy, third. A neck away, fourth was to Ronga. And they were followed in turn by Buca Mary, who was well back in the field. One of the last there with uh, Go Kindly and Outcross. All set now, the green light is through for race number nine. And Lewis swings around. Ready, uh, racing, coming out in a very even line from the inside. Quenchman got away quite nicely. Mr. Croydon now crashing across. Let's Gur Girl on the inside, held up slightly. Colorado Star, Acacia Brenda, then Frio Junction and Tara Satin at the tail, but Quenchman's got away with a tidy break. Here's Mr. Croydon joining in. A gap off to uh, Colorado Star. Let's Go Girl and around the outside, Frio Junction. Mr. Croydon after Quenchman. Mr. Croydon went to the lead. Mr. Croydon got the money. Over Quenchman, Colorado Star, Frio Junction, fourth. Followed in by Let's Go, Go a Girl fading. Then came Tara Satin and Acacia Brenda back at the rear. Moved in. Just about ready. Blue flags up. Set. Racing now. Coming out fast was Peps to leads early from Mel's double driving through on the inside and just behind it was Mr. Croydon getting through now with a beautiful run. One came down, that was like a tiger. Fourth is Shy Rachel and well back was eager to trot, followed by Flash Like Fox and Jawara Fella. Mr. Croydon in front though from Pepster and Mr. Croydon beat Pepster by neck. Six lengths away, Mel's double and fourth in Shy Rachel, followed by Flash Like Fox. Further back in the field was eager to trot. Jawara Fella and like a tiger came down. Flash Like Fox has jumped the rail and is after the bunny. Set to go, there's a the blue flag. Racing now, beginning very fast, Brookton Bell leads Onassis and going to third is Mr. Croydon from Lady Under Fire. Mystical Rain made good ground and got to about fourth and charges home. Well back was Major Malawi, Miss McClintock, then Mighty Eagles, but Mr. Croydon broke away from Lady Under Fire. Mystical Rain continues to run on with Brookton Bell, but a very nice performance here by Mr. Croydon. Three and a half lengths to Mystical Rain, a half head away third was Brookton Bell, a neck away fourth, Lady Under Fire. Then came Mighty Eagles, followed by Onassis, Miss McClintock and Major Malawi. boxes dust storm is the fave Ready to go, they're off, Dustor missed the start, away quickly, Lofty's Angel out wide along with Go Fast Glee mustering through, to third token Bud Cold War slightly checked, followed by Barricky World, then Lady Pinfire, Big Bad and Rico, Dustorm with it all to do back at the rear, they race into the back section, front runner Lofty's Angel clear by two over token Bud, three links off to Go Fast Glee and seven links to Big Bad and Rico, Dustorm winding up from a mile off them from Lady Pinfire, and well back then was uh, Big Bad and Rico, they swing for home and Lofty's Angel is the leader after a token bud finishing well so to go fast glee but Lofty's Angel Lofty's Angel survived over go fast glee and token bud dust storm no real luck after missing the start then big bad Enrico lady pinfire barricky world and uh, cold war back at the rear
and Gigi Gannup. Just about ready to go. This is race number seven. And last them in a box to weigh the lower swings. Nature of Dal Stake. They're off. Lofty's Angel began nicely, paced Pete's Chick, but Lofty's Angel straight to the lead. Jack Bassett came across the fence, put Pete's Chick into the rail. Across on the outside, Avon Thunder went forward. Pete's Chick got up to fourth, followed by Miss Hayworth. Then came Max Mum Mary. Aliquin Hawken falling early on at the tail of proceeding. Slighty Lee off the back they come. Lofty's Angel out by seven. Avon Thunder worked a stick and running on Miss Hayworth. Then Jack Bassett followed in turn by Max Mum Mary and Pete's Chick. But Lofty's Angel's going to win again. Wins by seven lengths. Second in Miss Hayworth, third tight. Avon Thunder or Pete's Check, which has flown home. They were followed up by Eloquent Hawk, Max Mums, Mary. Then came uh, Jack Bassett and uh, failing to complete the course, but it looks to be okay. Flighty Lee in the back straight. Eight eighty. Green light on. They're set. Race five. Late support. Louis the Legend into four seventy. They're set. Racing. Lofty's Angel out cleanly from the inside is trying to hold up and is doing so. Rushing forward. Vintage class out wide. Delta Tango check. Little Larder's handy in third and so is Louis the Legend running to fourth. Dropping back Max Mum Mary with table eight. Out the back Delta Tango and Spiritual Lass. Front runner Lofty's Angel. Five in front. In second spot was Vintage class. Then Louis the Legend. Little Larder. A gap Max Mum Mary. The front runner Lofty's Angel in no danger. Out by eight lengths. Little Larder. Louis the Legend's coming home with giant strides but it's all Lofty's Angel that wins by six lengths. Second, Louis the Legend. Third, close. Vintage class or Little Larder. Close up, Max Mum Mary. Then table eight. Delta Tango got checked at the first turn. And Spiritual Lass has finished last. Favourite box one. They're set. Racing. King Kerrigan out quickly, so was Lofty's Angel. Punt High's mustering through, but King Kerrigan dashed away by two lengths over Lofty's Angel. Cash Alex checked there with Punt High. Railing through Mitzi's Dream. Wide out was Julianne, and then came Princess Adda back towards the tail as Cash Alex goes right out the back. King Kerrigan four lengths in front at the halfway mark. Lofty's Angel closing in. Three away to Punt High running to third, and then Julianne and Tiermark Prince to fifth, but King Kerrigan's getting tired. Lofty's Angel reeling it in. Punt High with a late rally. King Kerrigan in front they hit the line King Kerrigan or punt high or uh, Lofty's Angel in fact I think it's between one and three King Kerrigan or Lofty's Angel punt high might have just missed out and run third Tiermark Prince was probably fourth and then Mitzi's dream Julianne Cash Alex was in trouble early and Princess Atta